Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nidos and this is episode 11. We are going to make yellow cubes and that is a long way to yellow cubes. So we have a very productive episode ahead of us. Let's see if we can be as productive as I want to do and uh, might be a bit longer, but I feel that it's really important that we get the yellow cubes up and running. Right, so how do we how do we do the yellow cubes? Oh, first, you're probably gonna notice that there's a different kind of concrete. This is the new colored concrete that was added in the latest patch for decorative purposes. And this color is uh, called spilled red wine on my planet. And it is selected by Vichu. The way that works is this is just paving concrete. But if you click this button, you open up this one. We have the predefined menus and then you can right click. And if you want to copy the spilled red wine color, then you can get it there. RGBA values, you can set them in there, and it's a really nice color actually, and it's a bit of unique, and it's not com really dark, but in the in the sunlight it looks absolutely amazing. So what I've done is taken this some space that I've uh, I've allocated now on my planet for this build, and then gradually we'll be sort of transitioning, just paving over everything else, so it gradually becomes spilled red wine on the entire planet. Right, what is it we want to do? We want to make yellow science or structure matrix and that requires diamonds we built that long ago and i cannot even remember why i built it i have no idea why i built it but i did hmm. i did and it's also like super simple so it's just coal into graphite into diamonds it's exactly the same as steel basically exact very different but what i really want to focus on is the other one the truncated icosahedron not quite a d20 but uh, since i've cut some corners of the icosahedron anyway this one is one of those for one yellow cube so that's nice and one organic crystal for each titanium so that's okay and each of these organic crystals they are the most horrible things to create that is plastic and refined oil so plastic we haven't built that yet so that needs to be that's more refined oil so we need a lot of refined oil to start with and then work on plastic, organic crystals, titanium crystals, yellow science, and we're good. Let's do that. First things first, we are gonna stamp one of these down. It is at this point that I'm really regretting that I decided to build it on the lines here. I should of course have built it like one tile in, but that's um, good to know that you have room for improvement for your next playthrough. So what, oh my God, that's a giant spider break and we're back <clears throat> uh, I lost my train of thought sorry about that uh, oil I guess yes oil in and oil is not turning into copper yeah I'm a bit flustered all right so that's that's when spiders spiders are supposed to be outside and not inside Whew. Um, there so oil in and get these two out <laughs> good thing I didn't panic good thing I didn't panic that would have been embarrassing I'm going to take one output here and that will go into a refinery. So let's make the refinery here. There. So that is two in, two out. That should be okay. Um, I think I want to do this one will be hydrogen. And then I'm going to have, yes, that means I can't do that one. Just close. I need to build it nah, just a bit further away because that one and that one will be my outputs. Good. And that means probably just to maybe sane, then that, let's place it here. Okay, so l let me explain something because it's something that I just assume and it's not really correct. Or, well, it's not really something that's totally intuitive. So if this one is coming in from the side, yes. And then going out here with, I don't know, let's go with that one and there. That's all good. And then I'm gonna build the other one next to it and it doesn't work. I can't build it across because it doesn't work. Now, some people would probably just do, well, just slant, slide it over by one, then it's gonna be fine. But that it's not gonna be fine. It is not fine. So what I want to do is, I wanna just move it back and then have one extra outbound here. This one will be the light oil. So what I will do now is to, I'm gonna grab it from this belt and then I'm gonna have the light oil out here. So now I have two light oils. 
and then I'm going to take the hydrogen in here. So this is a dedicated hydrogen which goes into... Yeah, do that. Goes in there. Now we have the problem of getting the other ones in. So I'm going to do... Up, oh, let's see if that works. And... Oh, that's got to be kidding me. You, you've got to be able to do that. Why not? How is that not possible? Hmm. Really thought it would be. Ooh. Because that would be... Oh, okay, never mind. Now it is. <laughs> I have no idea how that worked uh okay but we will just kindly ignore that there we go yeah okay so that's what i wanted so the two light oil merge in and get into that one then i want to make sure that oops i get these in in here and i actually want two because then i can empty the storage fast in case that whenever something gets picked up from this location then it can be emptied super fast back in there and now I can build this. So that's hydrogen and that is the light oil. What I need to do now is build all of this. I think I'm just gonna build 15. So, but you know, it's gonna get better than this because what? Oh, this one is built wrong. Ah, it should be slided over by one because now I can't build it here. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I am going to just move this one tile over. So as I was saying before, we want to make two of these. Now I've slid it over by one tile. I can move the other one and build it right there. Because I want to make this one big. Like 15 deep. And that'll be... Because it'll be 15 plus 15. That's going to be 30. And 30 of those will be able to consume 15 oil per second. And then produce 15 light oil. That's not enough. I need 30 inbound, 30 outbound. That's what I need. So that's why I'm doubling it. But this seems like a perfect opportunity for us to do a little time lapse. That was the first build. Pretty good. I like it. It's, it takes a bit of time to build, but it is uh, good. Now I'm going to be taking inbounds, local, and the other one, local, and nothing. There you go. Just get it in there. I hope I have enough stockpiles to keep it going for a while. We're just going to see it get on, and I just want to fill these up to maximum. I am going to, and back out in our power plant, this one here. Uh, I had temporarily set it to consume graphite, but um, because I had more graphite and I didn't have a constant production of hydrogen, now I have a constant production of hydrogen, so I have already switched it, switched it over. So now I'm burning hydrogen. This one is how I get rid of hydrogen and also generate a bit of a bit of power. This is designed for hydrogen. This part, so it can be, it should still be a full belt, even when they're working at peak capacity. And this one has now been converted into just a provider because, well. That's just convenient to have that. And in the meantime, look at all of this beautiful thing going. I like it. Nothing is con consuming or nothing is requesting our refined oil at this point. But uh, and you can also see it, it won't be able to keep up. And that's one of the things 
our drones are not fast enough. They're not fast enough. They can't, don't have enough capacity. It's one of those things that will be fixed once we get the get the yellow signs. We get them with some really juicy upgrades that we can make them basically twice as fast as twice as good. Well, that was one thing. That is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next challenge. What is the next challenge? That is going to be plastic. So let's figure out where is the next sort of uh, fault line or uh, meridian. That is a meridian right there. It is going at that one. Okay, cool. So I just need to make sure that it's this one. All right, so this will be my next build. I will be building plastic. Now, hmm, how big should the plastic be? I also want to make sure where the next one is. The next one is over on that side, this one. All right, so this one is not serving a purpose at all. It's just there to delimit and know, let me know where the next one is supposed to be. So I only can take this one and expand it over towards that because then it's two planetary sectors. There, get that in. So we are going to do plastic. Plastic here. And that takes one plastic is two refined oil. That's what we're looking at. So I'm producing now 30 refined oil per second. And I don't want to use all of it. But it was to use all of it. Yeah, so that makes sense. Plastic was, what was it? Refined oil and graphite. Graphite, we're probably not making enough graphite to really make an impact. And we are going to go over here to these. I think that's just a good place to have it and plastic. So how do we do plastic? Well, it's two inbound and one outbound, but there are four ports. So we can actually do it this way where we go. Uh, inbound and return and graphite. Yeah. And then this one can be on the other side as well. Looking good makes sense when you build these kind of things always start with the one that's closest to the pole because when i do this there then i know that that's gonna work but when i then do it the same way down here that'll be much closer let's just look at this will be much closer than i can build it here it looks the same but it takes uh because the squares are bigger so that's um something to keep in mind that's good let's do the inputs i'm gonna start with input output input input output input that's easy and then let's see how big we can make it let's go all the way over oh lack of item what in what world is that? Okay, I am going to build some more. Uh, that's going to be here. Thank you. Get that. Actually, just get more because we're going to get a lot. What else do we not have? Do we... Don't want to carry those around. Let's get some more of these. And I'm going to get some more chemical plants here for sure. There. Because that's also not enough. And that's, just the, that's the beauty of having the hub. It's the, it... It might have taken a bit of time to build the hub. And don't you dare call it a mall. Don't you freaking dare. The hub, yes. <clears throat> the hub. When we built the, the hub, it takes a while to do it. But you can see how easy it was just to grab things. And then it'll gradually figure out what else it needs. Let's try to see how many I can do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, okay, I guess we're doing 10 then. 10 then. That's out of building range, so let's go back there. Waiting for all these belts to be produced, and then we're going to put this one down here. Don't even know why. And the other one as well. There. Cool, that's done. And that 10... I'm going to build two of those, right? I think that's uh, making more sense to build two. That one. And one of the other things that are easy is it's always easy to build power poles on this. Why did I not time lapse this? I don't know. It's because it's such a small build. I'm going to start building the other one and then we'll just uh, get it done. That will again be. Oh, I can't do that until it's actually placing it. Oop. Yes. Uh. All the way to 
I guess this location. Going back and going out. Yeah. And let's make sure that we have the first one at least placed. So they get these. And you can see over here on the other side the refining is just getting on. When just going really quickly. That's good. And that's good. So once it's done, we can just build the rest. Now these are getting built and I will just finish this up as uh, the robots are slowly but surely building all the stuff that's needed to go out here. And then we'll build there and here and then we get all of the all the plastic we could wish for. How much plastic is this actually going to be uh, consuming? Well, this there's 10, 40, so 40 is like a really awful number for this because it, uh, it's divided by 3. Each of this is divided by 3, so 40 divided by 3. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, that's 13. All right, so we produce 13 or 13 plastic per second, and we consume 26 oil, refined oil. I'm producing over here 30 refined oil, so if I consume 26, there's 4 left. Seems pretty good. I think I think that's uh, very reasonable. Let's get more drones in. You got the drones? Yep. Oh, right. This is super important. I always forget. Always, always, always forget. I do not want the drones to run around with going out with there's a 10%. I want them to go out when there's a full load to be picked up. That's it. There's some. So here, 10,000 plastic? Sure. 5,000 plus 5,000? Yep. Request, request. Don't provide, don't provide. Other one? Request, don't, request, don't. There you go. That will now get all the way in here. I think I can take this out. Well, I don't want to because that's going to be my next build. So is this, uh, is this building? Yes, it is. Let's go here. Look at the swarm of drones I already have on this planet. And I don't really feel that this is particularly busy. Well, I don't feel the planet is busy, but I can judge by the number of drones in the air that it, it must be kind of busy. It's basically like a full atmosphere. I wonder why they're not bumping into each other. All right, are we getting stuff inbound? Nope. This one should be... Oh, there we go. The first ones are coming in. No, not surprising. This is uh, the one that comes in first. And we get the graphite as well. Come on. Give me graphite. Where's the graphite coming? I like that these turn different colors for some of the items. Not all of them, but some of the items. I'm still not getting any graphite inbound. Oh, there comes the graphite. Sweet. Now we can finally see if it is actually working if I put the inserters correctly. There's the graphite. And that's my first plastic. First plastic coming in. And it goes all the way to the end of the line. Always to the end of the line. That is brilliant. This one also got it. Now, onwards to the next challenge. Retrace our steps. And while we are retracing our steps, this might be just a fine location for me to mention that, hey, if you're enjoying this series and uh, want to keep watching it, then uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. It... Uh, it helps me know that things are things are working and that you are enjoying it and also helps sort of spread the word to other people the more subscribers you're more likely to see the videos and uh, that i'm putting out and uh, then hopefully you'll like it and then we can attract more people to the channel which would be nice at the when i do dyson sphere content it uh, it attracts a new audience even to the point where people who don't know that i play factorio will come in and say Hey, have you heard about this game called Factorio? I hear it's pretty good. It's pretty similar. That was that was a classic moment. And uh, let me see. We want organic crystals. Well, how are we going to do that? Organic crystals are a bit of a nightmare. Well, they're not actually because now we have all the things. We don't have the water, but I'll just tap some water somewhere. Organic crystals. Hmm. This is on a six second cycle. So I really should have 12. Yeah, and since there are three inbound and two outbound, I want the pattern to be... I'm just going to get the things inbound and... What was it? Refined oil and water. Yeah. So this will be... I don't know, just go over there. And the other one will go back. That one. There. 
And here. So that's the... Then it's the two other things, like... The two liquids will be here. And the other liquid will be here. And then I'm going to do on this side... Hmm. There. Yeah, you know. Don't really like this. Hurry up and delete it. It's going to be too big. It'll get too close to this one. So I actually have to redo this like that. This will be... Let's do this. And the other one... You can be returning home. There. And then on the other side, I will have... Oil. And I'll have water from here. And that's three. And then I need this line as well. That's going to be returning. And this will be light oil. And then I'd still need one more. So this is also going to be... Uh, that's not great, is it? No, I think I made a mistake here. Plastic and return. Plastic. Plastic and return. Okay. So that will be... Now this one will be actually be the other ones. Okay, it's a bit complicated. There. Okay, I now need to make sure that I get the power up right and then we can see if we can build it a bit quicker. Let's see if I get it right. It starts by going in and out. And in and in. Yes. That will be the same for this one. So the middle one, which will be... Just need to make sure that it fits. It will be... In... What the... My outbound line is this one and that one. Yes, so this this will be the same. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Ah, don't ever build things in, in parts of three. It's completely impossible to keep track of, at least for me. That should maybe kind of work. All right, let's uh, see if we can build it quickly. I'm going to need to build it 12 deep, so we get 18. So with a bit of uh, moving the uh, this location, we now have three times twelve, and uh, that's that's the thirty-six. That uh, gives us six organic crystals per second. Twelve plastic consumed, and we're making thirteen plastic, so consuming twelve of them seems pretty good. And then uh, it's going to be six refined oil, and we had consumed over here. We were consuming. The 26 out of 30, so we only had four remaining, and then we are consuming six. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna call it pretty close to ratio, and that's uh, that's 
as much as we can ever hope for. There's also going to be the, the issue of, well, things will run out or so, so things will get s stalling at some point. So that's uh, also good. And this is the moment when I realized that I forgot to set up some water. Water is the most boring thing to set up. So I'm just going to be wishing that away. And now we have some water. Easy peasy, very easy to uh, get. I'll just put some water in here and well, that should be enough water for all the things we want. Oh, it's actually pretty close to where we were. We were right here. That one, we get the water in and everything is working now. That's actually really nice. So water is not coming in fast enough, but that's not because of the water not being fast enough. It's because they're all of these 50 are out and they can only be spread between these things. So once my plastic is stacking up all the way or all of the other ones are stacking up, we can allocate more of the 50 to the water and therefore get on with it. Cool, we already have some organic crystals. That is wonderful. And now we need to build one more thing and then I go up here. There we go. That should be the location. I think maybe kind of. Let's see what we have of options. Well. Yeah, I'll extend this up, get a maximum size because why not here. So how big do we want to make this or where do we want to make this? I think that it's, I think here maybe that one or that one. Yeah, that one. Cool. Let's build it here. So instead of building it on this line, I'm going to build it one inbound. So this is going to be the titanium crystal. So we've, we've done a lot, but we are we are not done yet. It is a long quest to get to titanium crystals. In and of themselves, they're pretty easy to make. Just one crystal and then three titanium ingots. Should be pretty easy to do. Let's have a look at what I would how I would make it. I would make it like this one and since I have three inputs yeah this is on a four second cycle so I can have a lot of these four so let me just see if I have four of these that consumes three per second so on the other hand that's six yeah okay what if I make four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, all right. So 16 is, what is 16? That's 16, that's four per second and then multiply by two because it's on the other side as well. Let me just see if that makes sense. Yep, I'm gonna do the titanium here. Then I'm gonna do the organic crystals here. And then I'm just gonna set that on the outside Go. And then on the outside, I'll have the return. So if we look at this, it's going to be consuming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight organic crystals per second. And how many did we work on the other one? I make six organic crystals per second. So that's actually, I, I think that's perfect. Just have a slight overconsumption because a slight overconsumption means that you can empty the buffer if the buffer has accumulated and as we see now we are actually building up a buffer because well right now we're making organic crystals and we're not really consuming it at all so let's uh, actually that's not really what i want oh man you know what i really want to have a an undo function in this game that's one of the things that i'd really like to have i don't think it's going to be easy but i think that an undo function would be very nice We'll always build all the belts, all the power poles. Well, we'll build all the belts at least before we built we build the inserters, sorters. By the way, someone linked that. It's actually in the code. It's called inserters. So, yeah, me calling it inserters instead of sorters is actually just me referring to the code base of the game, and that makes sense. So it's not an error. Me calling it sorters, inserters, sorters, sorters, inserters. Even the developers apparently didn't really tell the difference. 
or maybe it's just a translation thing. Right, I'm gonna get 1,000 of these. I can easily get this. I can get that one, and I'm not gonna set it up yet because I need to make all of this. So let's go with the insorters. In, 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 out, out. Well, that was difficult. And this one, got it, and yeah. And I might as well just fire these up immediately while the drones are busy. There we go, so that's the next thing. All right, things are moving. We are very close to the yellow signs. Now, there's one thing that I can't do, I want to do, but I don't think I, I can do that because I also need to make a new science facility and I need to make red circuits and I need to make blue, no, not red circuit, red, red signs and blue signs. That's a bit much. We are, we're gonna make the yellow cubes in this episode, but the whole smashing of all the signs, that's gonna come in the next episode. That just, uh, unfortunately, that's just how it has to be. All right, that's, uh, there you go. That's a full number here. That's all of them and we get the first. Oh, first again, the crystals going in. They are coming in. They're going to be lovely. Look at that. It's actually transporting it uh, quite a distance from... Yeah, I have no idea where it is. I've completely lost track of anything. Oh, there, of course, it's on the red area. It's that one. Look at that. We still have a lot here. Not much is being consumed. The water is still troublesome. But it should be, hopefully, seeing a bigger percentage of drones flying over to get water. Yeah. When these two are now full, then fewer will go here and more will go there. That should be the idea. All right, this is working. We're getting titanium. We're getting that's probably going to be a bit difficult to keep up with, isn't it? For now, at least, the titanium might be difficult to keep up with. But titanium, remember, we have that on our import location here. We're just getting titanium in from the second from uh, our winter trader planet. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, whoops, and anyone in between, or whatever. There, there, and I'm gonna get the yellow science and that will be diamonds and it will be organic crystals, super nice. Again, I'm going to take half plus half. And then I'm going to go to my hub, which is really conveniently nearby. And check. Now it's time to make matrix labs. I'm going to make these matrix labs. I want to make it in a consistent manner. That's going to be like th this, I guess. Yeah. So we're going to have one input or one output. Like that. And another output. And then we'll have the return. I think that's a good setup. And this one will be making yellow cubes. What is actually the most important yellow science? I don't even know. I think that the mo it's, it's not like one of them is most important, but it's the fact that there are so many that are important. I'm gonna copy this and then I have to take it out. So each of these are producing at eight seconds and I want to produce, I've designed things to build two signs per second, but I'm actually gonna go up to three signs per second because I'm gonna build six cubes and that's actually six per second. So yeah, I'm, I'm way over, over where I need to be here. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna delete it because otherwise it doesn't work. And does that work even? Nope, it didn't work, damn it. Uh, okay, uh, that copy paste didn't work. The, the thing is, like, I. Yeah. So I'd like to do this, but I can't drag it like that. And therefore, it's more along the lines of that one. One, two, three, four. And then that's going to be there. Perfect. Yeah. And then gets a bit of lights here. Or sorry, power and power. 
That's only going to make it up to four. I can make it higher right now, but I'm going to make it up to four because that means this is going to be one per second. This will be one per second and that will be one per second. So this one will build us what we need. And I'm going to get this in. I'm going to get this in. And that should give us, well, if we just got some of these, uh, some drones, that would be perfect. It is time for us to build the yellow signs. What I'm going to do next is I am going to make the red signs here and the blue signs. If I can squeeze it in, then I'm going to make a science lab that will be at the power pole, either on the north pole or the south pole. It's going to be at the south pole. There's more room and I don't want to take away the other things. So let's build it at the south pole, the science facility next time. So we'll be just absolutely knocking out all of the signs. There are so many things that we want to get. We want to, for example, get the orbital collectors, but they have, they require accumulators. So that's a big other thing that needs to go. Accumulators that need to be charged and charged can be, yeah, there's a lot of things. Oh, it's working, it's working. Look at that. We got the yellow signs. Finally, 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 we got it. That looking good, looking good indeed. So this will be, uh, I hope that you, uh, you enjoyed this uh, rather intense construction thing. There wasn't sort of as much moving around. It's just like build this thing, build the next thing, build the next thing. But I wanted to sort of keep it in one episode so you get a good sense of how to build the yellow science cubes structure matrix. Yes, in uh, in one setting. So you can refer to this one and you can come back and just say, okay, well, that's a pretty simple way of doing it. I hope. I hope it makes sense. And we have now yellow cubes forever and ever and ever as long as we have oil left on this planet. Should be pretty good. And from there on, knock out all the yellow signs, get faster drones, faster me, more drones, uh, more vessels, uh, all of that stuff. Everything is going to be upgraded and we can start a lot of new tech from here on. Um, after that, just starting the science, I want to go into, I want to work towards my warpers both personal warpers which require purple signs and the warper the actual warpers they require green lenses and when i get those then then i can start expanding and it is kind of urgent that i go there because uh, if we look at the total level there's less than four million iron left in my system and if i run out of, out of iron i can't go leave the system so we need to um, to get out of the system in relatively soon and that means our next focus will be sort of working towards some deuterium because we need that for i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out well it's going to work towards getting warpers so we can get out of the solar system and start colonizing other solar systems that's going to be uh, the next chance thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit the like button if you want to support the channel there is a patreon link in the description below and of course I'll be back here. You can also come over to my Twitch stream, subscribing Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Central European time. And also a link in the description. And uh, yeah, we do the design work and we're kind of a bit ahead of this, but it's, it's pretty fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.